Hi, my name is Gordon Tina and I do Primary 3. I'm Gordon Swan, I do Primary 6. So here we'll start with continuing words. Our English rhetoric. Okay, at part 1, similarly. Well, we are right now at one of those quizzes here, the okay? The third quiz. So, let me see. You're very sure it's the third? Well, it's just one of those quizzes, okay? Yep. So Actually, in the third, because that the first one was for the uh, colors, right? The so second wait, one was the taste, so the third one is the, the touch. So wait, we're actually not sure about that, okay? So, we have four parts for these. Okay. So, just similar to those before, although one of those, we only have three parts. So, in this, we have four parts, okay? Yeah. So, in these four parts, okay, the instructions are actually set in its title. Okay? So, for the first question, is like, Beware of him. He is slippery as an eel and may not complete his job. But just beware, this is about completing the sentences or, well, with using these similes. Okay? Yeah. So you're going to use from these. And in fact, each of these can only be used once. Only once. Okay. Be one of him, he is slippery as an eel. Okay. How do you separate these two things? There is that they are sticky as flypaper. Okay, they are sticky as flypaper. So at this point, I'm saying that these two things, they are stuck together. Yep. And then you want to separate them, but you don't know how. So yes, you still say that they're sticky as flypaper, those kind of paper used for trapping those flies. Yep. Because of the smells, so the flies come, but then they, they got tricked. But it's not like a prank. A prank will do get tricked, but it's not dangerous. As you know, it's only not doing a prank by taping the door, okay. which is a bit bad. At this part. So you have these two all right. The third part. So let's see. How did... Okay, the Nautilus shell is Something. hard as a nail or hard as a stone. But that wait, we have to keep on looking until the next or even the next. Then to make sure, because each of these can only be used once. That is how it protects itself so well. So these two, they're both possible, right? Yup. This type of Nautilus, well, it's just type of like, ancient creature. If I have Nautilus, the Nautilus have the Fibonacci number, okay? A sequence, right? Yup. Like it just goes from in to all the way out. Then they have those, something like tentacles as far as arms. Okay. So this part, we leave it blank first. Then we check whether the others, we can define it is one of these. If it is one of these, then we can make sure here is the other one. Okay. Number four, that man's heart is something. That so, man's heart is hard as a stone. There is no compassion shown. So of course, this whole sentence, you have to finish it first, right? Yep. So the man's heart, yes, it is hard as a stone. So that means above is hard as a net. So what does it mean by hard as a stone? Hard as a stone, there's two meanings. One is really hard, one is cold hearted. Or you can say not compassionate. Okay, or no sympathy. Yep. Just keep to himself, right? So these are different types. Well, hard as I you know, this definition right now here is only referring to hard. Hard. Although there's other meanings. Okay. So what the third one? The Arctic and Antarctic regions are chilly as ice. Cover yourself properly. Even if this part don't have. You can actually guess it already, right? Because I have to get and I think the coldest place. Okay. They are at the North Pole and the South Pole of the Earth. Yep. So of course there's chilly as ice. So 
So at this part, all your answers here, they are right. Okay? Okay, so let's see for the next one, complete the simile. So for this one, you have to fill in the simile. And also, each of these words can only be used once. Only once. So here, let's see. Glass. Glass, you can say glass. Transparent. Yes, clear. Smooth. Yes, clear. But here we only have smooth. So as smooth as glass. And in fact, all of these, they're only about touch. And then, hey, this is about a thing. Although this, these three only can choose from these three. But glass couldn't be sticky. If glass is rough, then how can you uh, use it? So, of course, smooth. And Tony and the children yes. behind here, so it's definitely a thing, either these two. And then, of course, a rose bush. You don't go for Tony as a frog, right? You don't need to capitalize that, okay? Okay. And then, a frog in the Tony is bumpy. If you say it's the toad. Okay. Now the is the leaf sticky? Leaf, not exactly sticky, but if you want to know more about this, you just go back to that video and, and watch it. So it's sticky. It just do something like stick. So as what well as ham. First, what's ham again? Ham. Well, it is a type of plant, which is very rough. Okay. When you try to feel it. So here is as coarse. What is a synonym for coarse? An easier word. Rough. Okay. Or uneven. Okay. An uneven surface. And last but not least, if it's alone, then you can just use calculator, but even know straight away. Cold as a. Why? What? Cold as a frog. Is a frog even cold? But we just use it to describe. But when you feel it, it feels some sort of cold. But not very cold. Okay, so all of these are also right. So let me just tell you some um, strategy in case you uh, forgot that you used the word before. You can take it when you, you finish use the word. Okay? Or you cancel it. Okay, so here, let's continue. For synonyms, I have to connect them, right? Yes. So first, hard and stone. So first of all, you try to find something that is similar. Oh wait! Hard and cold. Wait, it's rough and coarse. Hard, can't find any. That is a synonym to hard. So later we'll know. Okay, smooth and smooth, of course. Smooth as butter and smooth as oil. So first of all, you need to try those that you already know now. Smooth as butter, smooth as oil, of course smooth. Then, they're, of course, they're all smooth. Wow. Very even surface. Yup. And then rough as bare skin. Coarse means rough, so these two can... Coarse as fasten. Fasten, well, it's just that type of fabric or that type of cloth. The bare skins are those things that soldiers wear Militaries. for some countries. Okay? Yeah. And the hot is similar to warm. Can't find anything closer. Slippery, slimy. And hard as stone, even. But wait. Hey. Let's think about. Let's How think good? about this, the different types of meanings first, okay? Okay. Hot as an oven. Well, of course, that means hot or it's warm. And Venus, well, also the same. Yeah. Slippery as an eel. It can mean slippery. But slimy as a well, of course, it means slippery, right? Yeah. But you can say oily, but you, your hand doesn't get the oily feeling. It is only on that thing. Okay. So then, now we're at hard as stone together with chili as death. Wait, how could hard and chili be related? Let's think about its meanings. Hard as a stone, it can There's really a few mean hard, mean right? Hard or else cold harder. Yes, cold chili harder. could mean chili or cold harder. Wait, both? Did that say cold harder for both of them? Oh, so that means they have the same meaning. Okay. 
So sometimes you can just get it from this context. But other times, you need to think about what you have learned before and the different types of methods or the different types of meanings that you have. Those methods I'm saying about is the description between these two or about things about science. Those different things, okay? okay? And also all of these are correct. And now for the next one. Next part is about the different meanings. So the first part is cold as a dog's nose. Cold as a dog's nose. Dogs know they are cold. I believe that's a special science fact. And a simile or a synonym for cold is chilly. Okay. Hot as a furnace. Furnace is where you cook food, you warm food. In the kitchen. Build stuff. Most probably in the kitchen. So it is of course there's a fire Burn going it. on there. Burn. Or it's just an so. electrical fire, right? So those so of course it's burning. It is burning inside, but not the whole furnace is burning. <laughs> yes, it's not. It's not a furnace, it becomes just ashes since it got burnt. Then, rough as the back of a hedgehog. Okay, so that's... One of those lessons. At that time, we already tell you the difference between a hedgehog and a porcupine, okay? Yes. So, if you want to know more, then just go back to that lesson. Okay, so here. That's yeah. what That means it is just as spiky, it's, right? As it's spiky, so it's prickly. Okay, yes, that's a synonym for spiky, prickly. Smooth as silk. It is very smooth, right? Yep. It is smooth, you feel it, it's very, very nice. Yep. Then it is very straight, right? Yeah. So you use even. So you use even for that, okay? Okay. So what about stick as super glue? Super glue. Again, what adhesive? Adhesive or adhesion cohesion. Those different ways. Okay? So, adhesion is about between two different things, right? Yep. Super glue also known, you can also call it elephant glue. Well, yep. just another name for it. Because super glue, they can be so strong that it is like as if the elephant is just pushing it together with all its force. Or yep, all its right. might. Or you can say that it can, can be so sticky. It, it depends on your own thought. Start, start. It can be like, hi, it can, it's so, so sticky that it can stick an elephant to the ground. So, at this part, sticky as yes, super but glue means very it's sticky. The elephant so, move. you'll use adhesive. Yep. So, yes, that part, all of these are also right. So, now we're well, at here and we want to know. More where did this come from? You can go back to those video and watch it. So now we'll end here. Next time we'll continue. If you like our video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button below. And thank, thank you for your watching. watching.